Hi, I'm Daniel Weisberg, Search Advocate at Google. And in this video, I'll talk about bulk data exports, a powerful solution for you to export, store, and analyze your Search Console data. I'll do a short comparison between the current data exporting solutions, and then I'll show how to set up and manage your bulk data exports. Now that we have reached our newest and most comprehensive data exporting feature, I would like to take a minute to compare all the ways available for you to export Search Console data. First, the user interface, which is the easiest way to export data. Most of the reports have an Export button that enables you to export up to 1,000 rows. Second, Looker Studio where you can use the official Search Console connector to build dashboards with performance data. Here, you can get up to 50,000 rows. Third, the API, which enables you to pull performance, URL inspection, sitemaps, and sites data. You can get up to 50,000 rows through the API, just like Looker Studio. And the last and most powerful way to export performance data is the bulk data export, where you can get the biggest amount of data via Google BigQuery. Apart from anonymous queries, which are always filtered, this feature has no row limits. You'll get all the queries and pages we have on Search Console. Let's talk a bit more about how this export works, how to set it up, and how to manage it. A bulk data export is a scheduled daily export of your Search Console performance data. It includes all the data used by Search Console to generate performance reports. Data is exported to Google BigQuery, where you can run SQL queries for advanced data analysis, or even export it to another system. I'll discuss the output schema and how to query data in the next video. This feature is useful for large websites with tens of thousands of pages or those receiving traffic from tens of thousands of queries a day, or both. Let me go through the steps to start a new bulk export. To use this feature, you must be familiar with Google Cloud Platform, BigQuery, and, of course, Search Console. Before you start a new export, be aware that it might incur costs to you or your organization. There is a free tier for Google BigQuery. Make sure to read more about it before you set up a new export. Check the links in the description. To start a bulk data export, you'll need to perform tasks in both Google Cloud and Search Console. Let's go through each of them separately. The exact user interface shown here may change over time, but the overall process should remain similar. Visit the Google Cloud Console and switch to the project you'd like to export data to. Find the project ID on the Dashboards page and copy it for later. Navigate in the sidebar to APIs and Services and make sure the BigQuery API is enabled. Navigate to IAM and Admin and grant BigQuery Job User and Data Editor permissions to the Search Console service account. Check the links in the description for a step-by-step -step guide. Go to the Search Console settings page and find the Bulk Data Export Setup page. You'll only be able to start an export if you're a property owner. Paste the project ID for your Google Cloud project. Select a location for your dataset from the list. Search Console will create your dataset in this location with the first export. Note that you cannot change this location after you set up your exports. Confirm your choices to initiate the export. If there is an immediately detectable issue, such as access, you should be informed relatively quickly. Otherwise, Search Console should begin the export process up to 48 hours after your successful configuration. Since a bulk data export is a new setting in your site and not a one-time operation, once you complete the setup, we'll send an email notification to all owners in the property. Once you finish the setup successfully, your export should arrive at your BigQuery project every day. Be aware that data will be accumulated forever for your project, unless you set an expiration time for your data. 
Check the links in the description to learn more about it. The export will continue until a property owner deactivates it in the settings page or Search Console is unable to export the data. For example, two errors that would prevent the export from succeeding would be missing permissions or quota exceeded in your cloud project. If there is an error, all property owners will be notified both via email and the messages panel in Search Console. We'll continue trying to export every day for a few days, after which we'll stop trying. You can also choose to monitor your exports by using BigQuery capabilities. In the next video, we'll talk more about the data. But one of the tables you'll get is an export log, which you can use to monitor your exports. I hope this video helped you learn how to start a Search Console bulk data export and what to do if you have any issues with it. In the next video, I'll talk about the data available to you after setting up an export. And I'll discuss some sample queries and best practices to pull data out of BigQuery. Stay tuned. Today's class is about exporting data out of Search Console through the user interface, the API, and bulk data exports.